Hey, you beautiful people, Sharntia Banks here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, Miley, what's good? So you are here because you have either one, watch my DIY eyebrow mapping tutorial, and you've requested that I show you how I do my individual lashes that were shown to you at the end of that video. Your wish is my command. And I know this video is like so overdue and I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for your patience. It's going to be so worth the wait. I'm going to deliver. It's going to be very detailed. Honey, I got a new camera and everything with a better lens. I wanted this to be crisp and clean, just kind of like my eyebrow video. You loved how it was like very close so you can see everything. And I wanted to have that same effect. If you're here because YouTube recommended it to you or you're just trying to learn how to do lashes on yourself, you've come to the right place. The first thing I like to do is make sure that my eyebrows are popping. If you haven't seen my DIY eyebrow mapping tutorial, you might wanna watch that. It's very detailed on how I get these eyebrows together, honey, okay? Together. The reason why I prefer to do my eyebrows first is because this process, it gets a little on the messy side. And you'll understand what I'm talking about when you watch the video. Once I'm done plucking and shaving away unwanted hairs, I'm going to go ahead and wash my face. Now, this is another reason why I like to do my eyebrows first, because not only am I washing away all that product that I use to sculpt my eyebrows, but I'm also cleaning my lashes. This part is very crucial. It washes away all of the dirt and oil that's on the eyelashes and surrounding the eye. You don't want to get any type of an infection. And you also want to make sure that the lashes are able to last as long as they possibly could. Taking a clean, and I emphasize clean, spoolie brush. I'm going to comb and brush my eyelashes so that the hairs are separated and not clumped together. Doing this while the eyelashes are wet ensures that there's no clumpage and ensures that it's actually going to stay in that position versus curling up. I'll be using this personal desk fan a lot throughout the video, but the first use that I get from this fan is making sure that my eyelashes are completely dry. I'll be using this spoolie brush while I'm using the fan to make sure that I'm able to, you know, dry in between each strand and also making sure that the hairs dry in place. Along with the spoolie brush and a personal fan, you're also going to need a mirror. I like to use a mirror that has a multiplier in it, so it's five times as close. Also, just all depends on the type of lashes you'll be installing will reflect which type of tweezer you'll be using. Today I'm using this one. You wanna make sure that it is absolutely sanitized using alcohol. You wanna get all in between the tweezers. You wanna make sure it is sanitized, no infections here at all. You'll also of course be using and needing some eyelash adhesive. I like to use the waterproof ones because I'm a crybaby. And of course, you'll also be needing some lashes. Today, I'll be using the Ardell lashes. I swear by Ardell. I love Ardell anything. These aren't the lashes that were worn in the eyebrow mapping video. And because my technique changes depending on the lashes being used, this will be a three-part series showing how I apply the other type lashes. The ones in the eyebrow mapping video will be the last one because it is by far my favorite and by far the fastest to do. For this look, I'll be doing a natural wispy look, starting with long from the outer corner, working my way towards the inner corner, medium, and then short. The direction says to place it on the lash line, but I prefer to place it under the lash line. Now, this is not necessarily the right way to do it. This is why I gave that warning and disclosure at the beginning because I don't want you guys to hurt yourself. So please, 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 be careful. Speaking of being careful, you want to take the tweezer as close as the cluster group as possible uh, and carefully remove it from its package. Normally the glue goes here, but because we're going under, we're going to put it here. So we'll be flipping it over like so, like that. Shout out to the top of the brown. We're also going to be taking it just like that and inserting it directly into the glue. Now, I'm not going to just stick it in there. No, what I'm doing is just gently tapping the glue like so, like that. Allowing the glue to get tacky for about 25 seconds, I'll be lifting my eyelid gently 
and placing the lash on my water line and holding it for a few seconds until it's in place. It's important to hold it as long as you possibly can. I don't know with me, I just can't hold it that long. And then afterwards, what I'll do is push it in there, just make sure that it's stable and set. And then using my fan, I'm making sure that it's going to dry for at least 30 seconds or so. Also taking my tweezer and kind of like making sure that it's there, tapping it a few times, just pushing it in there. This is so easy, so simple to do, but even in its simplicity, it could easily go left. So I'm going to show you some examples of what to try to kind of avoid. One, you want to avoid having too much glue on the lash and not waiting for it to get tacky. If you don't wait for it to get tacky, once you go to try and place it, it's not going to stick. And that's the most annoying thing ever because... Now you either have to redip it or you pretty much lost a lash. Boo. Boo. Another common mistake is that when you go to actually uh, dip your lash in the glue and you're waiting for it to get tacky, you wait too long to the point that it completely dries out. So when you attach it to your water line, it doesn't attach because it is dry. It is D-A-L, dull dry slash wow what the f okay and it's gonna take some time for you to get the hang of it but i promise you like once you do you're gonna love it you're not gonna pay anybody to do your lashes ever again practice makes perfect guys so make sure you just practice 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 don't give up on the first time To make sure that each eye has the same level of volume, whatever I do to one eye, I then do to the next eye. So previously on my right eye, your left, I placed three lashes. Now on my left eye, I'm going to go ahead and place three long lashes as well. Like I mentioned before, I'm going for more of a wispy, natural look. So if I were to take these long lashes and do it all over the eye, I'm going to look hella crazy. So I'm now going to incorporate some medium lashes to make it more of a natural look. And just to give you a little pointer, you see how it says not free? The reason why we're using not free lashes is because it's going underneath the lash line. If it was not it, it would be so irritating. Just imagine yourself trying to close your eyes, but it won't close all the way because there's like these little tiny balls that's at the tip of the lash. And it's like, so it would be so annoying. Like, so for this look, you want to use knotless lashes. And because I'm gradually introducing the medium lengths, I'm still going to go in with the long. So it'll be medium, long, medium, long. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. I'll be doing another medium and then long set uh, because I'm in the middle of my eye. And in this section, I kind of like to do just the medium. And then I'll introduce the shorts afterwards towards the inner corner of my eye. Now I may not be showing you me drying each lash with the fan, but keep in mind, every time I place a lash on my eye, I am taking the fan and I'm making sure that it's dry for at least 35 seconds. Notice how this eye, it looks thicker than this eye and it's all because of placement. So this side, I accidentally put them too close together. This side is evenly spaced out, so it looks more natural. I was going for the natural look, but 
I'm gonna have to add another either medium or another large to this side to make it match this side. This, this looks so good, so natural, I love it. But this side looks so thick and just like, ba ba boom. I wasn't going for the ba ba boom today, but alas, here it is. I could easily just take one out, but it's glued on there. And if I take one out, my lash is gonna come out too. And I don't want that. So like I was saying in a previous clip, you wanna make sure that the placement is to your liking. So if it's more close together, then the eye is going to be more of a voluminous look versus if you place them, you know, a, with a little space in between, it's going to be more natural. So although each eye may have the same number of lashes, it's all about placement. So just make sure that you are aware of where you're placing each lash. There's something so satisfying about doing my lashes and then just watching me do my lashes. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me gently placing the lash on my lash line. I don't know, but it's just very satisfying. And I'm also going to toot my own horn just a little bit. My brows look amazing. It's coming together so well. Toot toot, mother effing beep beep. Towards the inner corner of my eye, it becomes more tricky based on the fact that there's less hair there to blend and camouflage with the individual lashes. So I'm having to space this portion out a little more than I was doing before. I was looking at the unfinished product and I kind of liked how it was looking now. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a short in the corner of the eye. I think I'm gonna just leave it here. What y'all think? So I decided to add just one short cluster in the corner of the eye just to see how it will look. And I loved it. Yeah, I like that. That's it. Okay, so just one. Sometimes you just gotta place it there. It's not completely dry. So you can just place, and if you don't like it, then you can just remove it. And the final step to this do-it-yourself process is to make sure that you take the fan and blow it one last time. That's what she said. Now that you are done, it is very imperative to not cry while you have these on for the next 24 hours. So if you're a crybaby, soak it up. Man the F up. Woman the F up. If you like pina colada, dear God, please do not get caught in the rain because these will not stay as long as they should or could. Yeah, just like don't touch it. Don't wear any oils, which is hard for me because I love wearing oils, oils on my skin and my lashes. Let me first remind you of how my lashes looked before the reveal of the individual lashes. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Ooh, Chilea. These lashes are looking so good. They look so natural. They look just bomb as heck. Like my homegirl was like, those are your lashes? No, sis, these ain't mine. Well, I guess they are mine. I bought them, right? I can't, can't, can't. As far as time is concerned, it only took me an hour and a half to do, and that's because I was filming. 
and if you don't count the battery dying on me so yeah it took me about an hour and a half to do now in the next video being added to this series i will include how to wash and make the lashes last because honestly after just a week and a half they still look really good so you can wash your face you can wash your hair you can work out and sweat and they still look good just as long as you continue to dry them like i've been saying in this video but like i said more tips and more details will come in a later video so make sure if you are not subscribed to subscribe to my channel please thank you so 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 much and if you have enjoyed or thought that this video was helpful go ahead and click the like button it tells youtube that this video was definitely worth watching i am so appreciative of you guys you have no idea um my voice is going out so this is the universe saying shartia you're talking too much shut the hell up so thank you so much for your support do not forget to comment and share this with your friends because sharing is caring i will see you guys on my next video Mwah! Thank you so much for watching, but don't leave just yet. I am pretty sure you're going to enjoy these other two videos. So click it before it's too late. Click it, click it, click it or take it, click it or take it, click it, click it, click it, click it.